As a lot of you have seen, in my house is all this beautiful green and green furniture that I built. And one of the things I like to do is do this ebony pitting system. Well, I made a little mock-up here to show you what that joint looks like. This is really the highest level of craftsmanship. So I have a mortise and tenon joint. I put it in here, and then I take an ebony pin, and I put the ebony pin in there, which locks the joint in place. You see how that works? Now, I need to cut these off, and I like these little nail holes, or excuse me, I like these little mortise pins to show up so they're a little bit proud. They're just beautiful the way they work. We made a system to cosmetically do that and make it look like you went through all this work, but actually you didn't. It's really amazing how it works. So, I did it right here on this piece. It's a little mullion on one of my pieces of furniture, and I'm going to show you how I do that. All you do is take our new mortising tool right here. It's beautifully crafted, and you go ahead and knock in a 3 8 mortise hole, just like that. No drilling. And now what I've done is just made a little proud, uh, or actually not proud, recessed little mark. And then I go ahead and take my new pins, which are utterly amazing. These are machined to the greatest tolerance. They're actually all injection molded. You can kind of see it right here. And it has little tiny tangs on the end of it. You can see that. And you go ahead and push it in to your little fitting. And then you come along and you hit it, just like this. And you created that exact look of the pin that's on the furniture, and yet there's no joint below it. So if you want to cosmetically look like you're an artisan, it's called artisan trim pieces or artisan terminations. We're not quite sure on the name, but I think that's what we're going to call it. You can create the illusion of all the ebony pinning. I think this is going to be gigantic. We're going to make all different sizes, all the way up to like two inch ones for large framing on homes for timber frames. And so far, I've actually got some applications on my own home that I'm going to use it on. And as soon as we make the mold for that, I'll show you that application. We're going to cover some big bolt holes and make it look like it's a through ebony pen. Very exciting new product. Now, Mike has made, our engineer has made a great new tool. So let's say I take this mortising tool just like this, and I go and I lightly put that in, and then I go, go grab one of these caps again, our little ebony pens. And now, instead of hitting it with a hammer, Mike has made the reverse of it right here, a little tool that we're also going to be coming up with. And you can just go ahead and put that just like this and set it down. And now you can get that set just perfect with this new little tool right here. It allows you to do that without taking any chance of hitting your finished material. Great new product. Artisan Accents are the name of that one. One other thing I wanted to show you was I made up this nice little mock-up to simulate the artisan accent pins that I showed you earlier. This is a typical mortise and tenon joint. When you put it together like this, then you have these ebony or wenge pins that go in there and lock the joint in place. So see, now the joint is locked. This is part of the arts and crafts movement, part of the green and green movement, very popular. And then what we would do is cut these pins off so they're almost flush round them over with a little bit of sanding so the pin sits proud and it's a nice little accent or detail. Well, we found a way with the artisan accent pins that I showed you to simulate this without going through all this work so it looks like a mortise and tenon joint. It could technically be just a butt joint. You could even put a screw in there, whatever you want. And then you've got the look of the mortise and tenon with the pinning without all the hassle. And that's what that's all about. I just wanted to show you kind of conceptually how that works.